Bike theft is a huge issue all across the world. Just listen to what this poor man had to say when his e-bike tragically got stolen. Oh, oh no, someone's ripping my bike. Fuck. Stop him! Please! Oh my fuck. Now luckily the guy did end up getting his bike back, but sadly this isn't the case for over 2 million North American people. And that's a lot of people. Now you're probably thinking, why not just lock up your bike? Well, that's a great question. So I was on a walk and I noticed uh, it looks to be a little girl's bike on top of a hill. Ah. So this is a pure demonstration. Or no, that's stupid. This is what happens when you use a bike lock. As you guys can clearly see, this thing kind of sucks. I totally didn't just unlock it with a key, but that, that's besides the point. But you know what doesn't suck? The official random creation shop A, but more on that later in the video. So I got a few ideas on how to make this thing. The first one being to make some sort of cannon that sits on the handlebars, we'll call it a Nerf gun. And now this Nerf gun's gonna be pointed at your head at all times in order to stop both the thief and even the bike rider. I also wanna make some sort of pressure plate on the seat so that when someone sits on it, it'll trigger the cannon to go, or no, the Nerf gun. It'll trigger that to go off and it will also probably trigger like an airstrike or something. I, I haven't figured that part out yet. This thing right here is a CO2 bike pump and watch what happens when I screw this tiny little cartridge into it. So this tiny little cartridge has 850 PSI in it, which is a lot of PSI. I'm thinking about just trying to shoot the projectile out of some sort of barrel using a compressed gas as like the, the pushing thing. I used the same sort of concept when I made the arm cannon, but instead of using a compressed gas, I just blew up a gas instead. All I have to do is put these together, connect this to a tube somehow, connect this tube to a barrel, put a nerf dart in there, and then I'm good. I'm gonna build one of those things right now, and then I'll do a test shot, and then I'll make the final version. All right, I got this thing all built. All it is is a tube on this thing. I'm gonna be shooting my test, uh, my test bullet at this styrofoam right here. Or not the styrofoam, the bubble wrap. Oh my God. Look at that. That like, oh, holy crap. All right, now I'm gonna make the final version of this thing. So I'll see you in 30 seconds when that's done. The bike is all done. I got a brand new cartridge in the seat and watch what happens when I sit on it. Ah! That was so <laughs> Here, I'm, I'm redoing this, I'm redoing that. Now let's try it with a new cartridge. Here, this, this is what it was supposed to look like. Oh, I hit my car! No way! We need something that has more penetration, something that'll cause more trauma to the bike thief, and basically make them never want to steal a bike ever again, which will eliminate the whole problem as a whole. And what if the solution was right under me this whole entire time? This thing right here is a hydraulic cylinder and it's capable of producing a ton of force. And when I say a ton of force, I mean a whole half of a ton of force all being applied at this tiny little point right at the end here. So I saw this Instagram video of some guy basically trying to steal my whole entire video idea until I took a closer look at it. Number one, it wasn't hidden enough. The whole goal of this thing is to basically sneak attack the thief. Number two, it might run out of battery and if your bike penetrator up the butt thingy runs out of battery, mid attack, mid theft, whatever, then that's not good. And number three, it's not committing any sort of felonies, which isn't that impressive. So what if we somehow took this cylinder right here, put it on the seat of a bike, then put that seat in the hole of the bike, and then we have a fully functional anti-theft bike seat. <clears throat> Here's the plan, but first, let's head over to Photoshop. So I have to make an adapter that fits on both the nub and the end of the hydraulic so that we could slide it over the nub on the bike. Inside that adapter is gonna be a super cool gadget, which allows the button to trigger the hydraulic rod if any pressure gets applied to it. So, honestly, I don't really know how I'm gonna do it yet, but I guess we'll see in 30 seconds.
forgot to record like half the video. So let me just give a brief explanation on what I did. So I 3D printed a little adapter thing under here. I attached that to this tube with a bunch of epoxy. And then I hammered this down and put a tiny little metal nut in here, or no, a metal washer, so that when someone sits on the seat, it'll compress the button on the bottom of the cylinder, and then shove that up something. I got the bike seat all done, and there's a fly. I'm gonna briefly explain how this works. You basically take it out, you press the button, and then you push. Ugh. You push it in, and then when pressure's added to the seat, it attacks. Right over here, we got a, a few items. First, we got Diet Pepsi, because everyone loves Diet Pepsi. Second, we got a watermelon. I feel like this is the most humanly accurate thing. Then I got a bottle of 7-Up, because it was the cheapest one. Shout out to ice.gov for sending me a custom ice ball. This is the next thing. And then, the finale, it's gonna be this grapefruit. All right, we're gonna start off with one can of, mm, delicious Diet Pepsi. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> I probably should have done the wet ones last. Let's do, let's try two at a time. I'm gonna save the other ones to drink. I don't even know if it's long enough, but, crap. This is, oh my God. That's disgusting, that's gross. All right, now we're moving on to level two. The watermelon. Oh my God. I have this little clamp on here so that it prevents it from really piercing stuff. The clamp's not there, then the thingy, the cylinder will go too far down and then basically let all the gas out and then we don't have the anti-theft bike seat anymore. <laughs> Level three, that's seven up. This one, or no, we're doing this one last, I'm scared. I don't wanna get like, annihilated. Oh, I actually stabbed a hole in it. This one I'm actually scared for because this is definitely gonna burst everywhere. Three, two, one. Oh, strip! The cameraman actually volunteered to test it. I did. No, I, no, I did not. So, we're gonna have him sit on it. No, <laughs> I think that was pretty good enough amount of testing. But earlier in the video, I shouted out the official random creation shop hey. So let's cut to a clip of me promoting that real quick. Head over to the top link in the description to buy yourself one of these things. They're very safe, affordable, gas is not included, and they're so safe to use, even a three-year-old can use them. Goodbye.